Hello, welcome back to RM Military History. Now this week we're going to be looking at some footage of US Army advisors in Vietnam. We're going to be looking at some of the equipment they carried, the weapons they used. And this footage is from 1963 and I found this footage on the US National Archives website. Here we have what appears to be a South Vietnamese regional force being accompanied by a US Army advisor. The regional forces were essentially a South Vietnamese version of the Viet Cong and they were often called rough puffs by the US troops. As we get a first good look at the back of this chap's equipment. Now the footage may be a little bit grainy, um, however, we can see that he appears to be holding a Carl Gustav M45 submachine gun, also known as Swedish K's. The submachine gun was produced from the early 40s in Sweden, and in the Vietnam War it was used by US advisors, it was used by South Vietnamese troops, and it was also really liked by the US Navy SEALs. In 1966, American gun manufacturer Smith & Wesson were tasked with making an American version of the weapon, which they designated the M76. The South Vietnamese soldier there also seems to have a leather magazine pouch for the weapon. Here we have what appears to be a timesheet for the cameraman, and the OSD team that you can just make out there stands for Office of Secretary of Defense, or Office of Special Operations. Here we have a much better look at one of the advisors. He's wearing what looks to me like M1956 load carrying equipment, but not all of his webbing is M1956. The straps worn appear to be M1945 pattern suspenders used during the Korean War. Advisors would often mix and match webbing as the new M1956 webbing came online. This advisor is armed with a M1 carbine with a folding parachute stock. Nearly 800,000 carbines were supplied to South Vietnam. The M16 may not have been widespread at this point, however the M1 and M2 carbines were very popular weapons in use by American advisors and special forces and by the South Vietnamese. As the advisors and the troops they're with go out on a patrol, we get a better look at some of the weaponry and equipment they're using. We can see that there are copious amounts of Carl Gustav submachine guns, and here we even see some of the South Vietnamese troops with M1 Garand rifles with the matching ammo belts. Here we get a better look at the uniforms worn by these advisors. They're wearing what is called Biao Gam or Duck Hunter camouflage uniforms. Now these were popular in the region and they would buy their own in country or buy American Duck Hunter uniforms. It's actually one of my favorite camouflage patterns of all time. The helicopter coming in is a Paiseki H-21 or CB-21. The helicopter was designed in April 1952 and was known as the Flying Banana for obvious reasons. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and I'll catch you again in the next one.